Hey everybody, what's going on out there? It is the February 27th video log for the Too Close to Call podcast. I'm your co-host Miho, running solo tonight. Going to run through the Philadelphia Four quick here, give you guys an update on what went down today. First off, in the Sixers world, Boban is going to be okay. He's only going to miss about five to seven days, so he's going to miss a week here. No word on Joel Embiid and whether or not he's going to make it back for the two games this weekend. First against the Thunder against Golden State on Saturday, so that should be a tough little stretch for the Sixers. We'll keep you posted on when we hear something more about Joel. But the Flyers have back-to-back games coming up here on Thursday and Friday. The first one with Columbus in what is a must-win game. Brian Elliott's going to stay in net after they had a nice win last night against the Buffalo Savers where Ryan Hartman introduced himself to the locals very well by laying a hit, getting to a little bit of a scrum, and receiving a standing ovation from the Wells Fargo Center. So... In Philly's news with Bryce Harper, there is an update. Apparently the Giants are willing to go to that 10-year mark. So you have the Dodgers in a short-term deal and the Giants and Phillies offering that 10-year deal. So there's starting to be chatter on whether or not Bryce wants to make a decision by the end of the week, if that's accurate, as well as if the Phillies should pull their deal off the table and start to attack other needs such as Craig Kimbrell and even maybe Dallas Keuchel out there on the market. But The big news of the day comes out of the Eagles camp, and that is that Howie Roseman and Doug Peterson said at the Combine that they're not going to franchise tag Nick Foles. They're not going to put the $25 million tag on him and try to trade him. They're just going to let him walk and become a free agent. Honestly, I think it was the right move because they were looking at a political storm and some pushback on if they were going to tag and trade him because there was a rule put in place following the Matt Castle, Tom Brady, franchise tag trade move of years past so to avoid pushback and do what's best for the player they had to let him walk and move forward now having said that they're currently 2.1 million dollars under the cap for next year and the next key decisions that will be taking place are what to do with Jason Peters Nelson Aguilar and Timmy Jernigan the three of them combined for a $36 million cap hit. And if you move on from all three, that'll give you over $30 million back. So I don't think they're going to move on from all three. It sounded like today, based on what Peterson and Roseman said, they're going to bring Peters back, hopefully at a discounted rate, because I think he's earned that. If he wants to continue to play, you have to let him play. The real decision maker here is going to be Jernigan. He lost all those guarantees when he got injured last year. So I think if they're going to bring him back, it's going to be at less money as well. And Nelson Aguilar, there's chatter of moving on from him. If you trade or release him, you don't have to pay any of the $9 million that he's owed next year. And there's a few different options and some skill positions across the league that they may be looking into. So in the comments below, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think the Eagles should do with those three guys, Peters, Aguilar, Jernigan. And I'm looking forward to hearing what you're thinking. Click subscribe below. I think it's down here. I think I'm going to get that right. So as always, this is the video log, Too Close to Call. I'm your boy, Miho. Peace.